So, I just realized my mic has been off for probably who knows how long. And I saved a couple of times, which kind of screws me over, because now my save file has been written over. Oh. That's not good. That, that, that ruins Let's Plays for me. There's no way I can really undo that stuff either. So, hey, if you're watching this, uh, I've been apparently talking to a camera like an idiot for probably the last 20 minutes, and I didn't realize my mic was not working, so good. Uh, to recap what happened, if you just saw, as I'll sh probably do with the cutscenes there, uh, we went through a few Zeta things, went through most of this cave system, but I'm an effing idiot. Um, yeah, that's what I get for trying to clip some other material in between, I guess, shoots of a Let's Play. Ah, that sucks. That hurts a lot. Yeah, we killed two Zetas. Free Zetas? Yeah, free Zetas, and now I guess we're in some waterfall cave system. Okay, well, sorry for that. It's good. I don't like the quality of that. That kind of hurts, but, you know, it is what it is. Um, yeah, no, I played with my food too much, and I get bitten. I wonder where the last power-ups are. I guess it's pretty much all the commentary I've had so far. That really hurts. I hate when that happens. And that, that's happened before. And I've already saved, so it's not like I can really go back and fix it, but... All you miss is two Gamma Fights, and the Gamma Fights were entertaining! Like, I mean, I mean, not kidding. They're a little bit easier now, and... Just super miss them to the balls. They have a ball sack and the little Metroid uh, nucleus thing. And then we come to some watery cave afterwards, so there's that. It says that we're all out of Metroids, although it does say that there's one more on the menu here, so... Question mark? We'll see, we'll see. Oh, getting stuck on that one. Come this way. Oh, we got like a bigger room here. Watery basin looking thing. Oh, hello. Okay, let's not fall down there, because I bet you that leads right back down to the lower levels, and I'd rather not go down that way. So we'll just go over here. Okay, got the wall over on this side. Up. There seems to be some kind of wall in the back there that looks different than cave, so... Oh yeah, there's definitely a Chozo statue on the right side here. Okay. Uh, interesting. Okay, bomb this out. Double check. Nope, nothing popped. This one has an opening. This reminds me of the original Metroid. With the black and kind of naked looking backgrounds, but it's just darkness. Save station. The thing that basically stopped me from resetting the, the last 20 minutes worth of gameplay, but okay. Uh, let's keep going. Off to the right, I guess. Some kind of purple... Oh, this is the transit system thing again. Uh, this would lead all the way over to... Yeah, honestly, I don't know. I don't see the endpoint here. Well, I guess we better check it out. Uh -oh. Okay, it, it wasn't on the map originally, but... It led me back to, I guess, the main... Well, this area over here. There was two power-ups over here, so I think I'll take a little detour to go get those power-ups, and I'll come back, because... Must be some kind of, like, secret hatchway. Okay, nothing too, too crazy, but at least we got two more missiles, or ten more, technically. Now we get to go back to this crazy, creepy-looking place. Like, that music is super eerie, too, just to say. Oh, hello, Chosen Statue. Who done this to you? How dare they? I mean, obviously, there's a tunnel down here, but still. What the hell are these things? Oh! Let's see. Nine Metroids detected in this area. Okay. Oh! 
That's a that's just a simplistic Metroid. I'm sorry, I have to do it. You guys are a menace. New logbook. Genetics laboratory. Suspended above an abandoned city it is the remains of a laboratory. Scanners confirmed that there was extremely sophisticated equipment to be found, along with scientific data of incalculable magnitude. The only the only stasis tanks are sorry, the only stasis tanks are left. Organic traces within the suggest that genetic research and DNA manipulation. Uh bio sorry, bio biogenic substances of an unknown age coat the laboratory's walls. Alright, so we're in a, you know, little experimental lab of some sort. Get off. I feel bad for, like, you know, exterminate these little jellyfish boys. I want to make one. I want to make one in Ryzen, I think. I remember beating this, though, on the, uh, the bomb I had back in the school's computer. I remember this area. Slightly. No. Oh. One thing is they got a lot more agile in this story. Let's see, but he did take a lot of health so far. That's like 25% of my energy reserves. This one's a little bit tricky because I want to get him like right there so I can like super missile him, but. the Metroids. So. What was that? What, what? Some kind of weird power surge? What the hell? I'm not even shooting there. I'm being spooked out by the eerie music and just like, what's that? What's this? I'm like shooting over all the things. Or is spiky, so watch out. Why is it so spiky in here? Oh my gosh! That's a queen, right? Queen Metroid. The only Metroid organism naturally capable of producing offspring. The queen is the heart of the species and the mother of every Metroid born on SR388. Her role in the hive uh, has hindered her mobility, yet encouraged her development of a long neck and massive head to strike at a distance. Her cell structure indicates that she is heavily aged, possibly as old as the lab that she has settled in. The years have reformed her torso to impenetrable levels. Queen, uh, the queen's genetic coding is distinct from other Metroids, and she has been gone. Through, sorry, she may eh, and she may have gone through a unique life cycle to obtain her form. Ah, uh, yikes! Okay.
those easels. It's like I can't really do much to like walk against those things. Okay, she's gonna spit those things at me. Bad. Bad. I don't know what these little green things are. I keep flipping up. Well, it's not hurt. Okay. I, wh where am I supposed to strike you back? Okay, she has like an armor phase. I guess girl, technically. I keep bonking her on the nose, but it's not doing much. Okay, let's see. I think I can get this in one take. Let's go. What are these things are though? Like, what, 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 what kind of attack is this stuff? But I'm using screw attacks and they don't really hurt. But they're armored a bit, so. I'm running low on missiles, so I gotta watch out. Actually, at this point, I'm running on everything. Oh, I'm out of missiles, so, uh... Now I'm out of missiles. One more fuzz! Oh, this is gonna be hard. Sorry, I'm really trying to concentrate. And like, this one's definitely a tricky one. And I gotta redo that. Oh, it sucks. Okay, well, we know that there's a second fire phase. We know that they you can shoot those things to you know get back to the move energy. So. We definitely move it up in our uh, knowledge of how to beat her. Ah, uh, it's not like such a easy one. What knowledge is this, this, that? Eesh. I'm not super MLG, what can I say? Does that count the egg that we're, like, we see there that is probably the baby, actually? Okay. 
Buzz. The switch kind of gets me sometimes because of, like how it's stuck on power bombs versus uh, like the energy crystals. five of them to defeat it. Waste a Pacific Missile there. I need to come a little bit closer so I don't have an angle on it. There you go. Absorb. Oh, I see. Because I, I came from the side angle. I'll try. We, we, I think we're we'll doing better off this time. Just try not to get spiked here, I guess. Well, uh, try to hit every spike on the way down. That also works. Hello. Hello, you queen. So I gotta like just let's see. Eesh. Lost a bit there. Let's play defensive round.
to save up some, some resources. better this time. Obama, let's go, let's go. Sorry, I'm getting a little intense trying to like not die about this. Hey, let's go, Mama, we got gotcha. you. I feel bad, but hey, mission complete. Let's go. I slayed that queen. Slay. Whew. The hell are we even? Okay, well, there's a chunk of the lab we didn't explore this way, so let's go take a look this way, I guess. My heart's pumping like holy smokes, that was a hard fight. Oh, we got over here. I guess we kind of dropped down this way. It's a hatchling. And it doesn't know what to do. And I I can't shoot it. Because it has plot armor. But you're a cute little jellyfish, yes you are. Let's go. You're now my pet. Oh, you eat stuff. You get nice and big and strong. There you go. Oh, thank you. It leads the way. I kind of like it almost indicate that there's something over there. Oh, Mama fell. Mama's okay though. Mama has a super suit. Man, you hungry little boy, aren't you? Wait, does that mean most Metroids are boys? Just think of it. There's the whole Alpha and Omega type thing. But there's also the Queen. The Queen's special, obviously. The Queen's the only one lay eggs. I mean, it doesn't really matter the gender, but are they like male drones or... 
Regardless, you, you are a cute little jellyfish that wants to eat everything. Thank you kindly. Here, get, get, get your fill. Get your fill. There you go. Wait a second, this isn't Final Fantasy. Yeah, that's the wrong game I did. Uh, okay, there you go. Yeah, there you go. Good little Metroid. What do I have to do with you? I mean, realistically, you're kind of dangerous. Maybe you could be domesticated. I doubt you could be domesticated. You're kind of just a jellyfish. I don't think like they have higher claws, but we'll see. I'll have to take you back to the lab and take a look at you. I mean, don't we already have technically set impulses? You know, Metroid's in pod Captain V or not? Figure we would. Come on, get this one over here. It's like eating berries in the wild, you know, just picking them off the, I guess, the alien rocks or something like that. Oh, thank you. Well, looks like my house, uh, my, not my house, my ship is over here. Wanna come for a ride? Wanna go take a look at another planet? Let's go. Just over here. Just don't eat the fruster energy or whatever like you're eating. Man. I need that to have my ship fly, okay? There you go. Cute little jellyfish. Just go. I'll call you Jellybean. That's your nickname. Jellybean. Jellybean the Metroid. Let's go, Jellybean. Here, have a sip of this. So I think that's it. I think uh, that is uh, non-alcoholic. Yes. There you go. I guess that's it. This, this is Metroid. Uh, sorry, no, another Metroid 2 remake. Um, it was really beautiful, especially compared to the whole black and white version I had on the Game Boy and the uh, the Game Boy emulator I had back in my uh, unschooled computer. <laughs> um, they did an amazing job. The graphics looked amazing. I loved how everything like exploded. The transitions between levels were great. The sound was decent, and uh, nothing was too too hard. The optional bosses were fun. Uh, I think I preferred the like the snake one, the water one, versus that like weird pre sixty one that I died six times on. Uh, yeah, this is really good. I recommend checking it out. I heard that they had a uh, a PvP mode enabled in one of the packages of those games, so you could play against other Samus characters, and there's something like a. A, a Metroid Fusion-like variant, where you can kind of, uh, what you call it, have a slightly different suit with different abilities versus an SAX who has a lot more abilities, because like 5v1 kind of situation. But yeah, this is uh, really nice. Um, good stuff. I wonder if there's any secret unlocks or what was my clear time. I think it'll take a moment though to get to that. But uh, I'm happy they made this. I I wish I wish. If I could just give the money to, like, make the Prime 2D variant, because I heard they were working on it, that might have been a different, uh, a different, uh, person, though. I'm not 100% sure. But anyways, they were making, like, this for Metroid Prime, where all the boss fights were reimagined. Cool, cool. Clear time took me about just under 7 hours and 76%. Don't know what that gets me for a ranking, but, uh, I'm gonna screen cap that. That's now, uh, Do I get some special... Oh, okay, I'll take that too. I'm screen capping. I'm right-clicking. I'm saving this. See you next time. Just, I don't. I didn't get no secret fast unlock skin or anything, but at least me and my little Metroid Jelly Bean baby there get to go for a stroll. Good stuff. A little bit different to those, but they have the fins like the Prime series does. But uh, very cool, very cool. I need to cosplay and make myself a new uh, power armor or something like that. Like uh, Especially a potato cannon. Uh, maybe like a laser beam. I know it's a little like... A little much to try to think it plus props are not supposed to be functional but hey who doesn't want to shoot a potato cannon arm cannon you know and uh, maybe have a laser that can burn drywall that being said uh, i'm done with this tonight uh what next i don't know catch you next time